is, is very aware that one of my missions in life is to help women to feel better about their bodies and better about themselves. I remember when everybody remembers when I told the world, so what, right? Yeah. So what? Yeah. But there was, there was like this, oh yeah, kiss my, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But there was a really big misconception. I wasn't saying so what to health. Right? I was saying, so what to stereotypes, but not so what to health. There's a big difference. Now, the women on this show today are literally hundreds of pounds overweight. And they're so heavy that they cannot even take a shower without someone helping them. These women are all living at risk in the danger zone of obesity, but they have completely different takes on their size. This is Donna. Donna almost weighs 600 pounds, and she's not happy. Now, the reason Donna is not happy is because Donna is around 600 pounds, but she wants to weigh 1,000 pounds. That's different, right? Yeah. That's very different. So, Donna, why do you want to weigh 1,000 pounds? I don't know if I've ever heard of a woman weighing 1,000 pounds. Um, I'm just really fat just feels good to me. Um, it just seems like the bigger I get, honestly, when I look at myself, I think I'm, like, small. I kind of have like reverse anorexia or something. <laughs> so you look at yourself and you think that you're small. Yeah, I feel like I'm small. Wow. But I just, I just want to be. I, I don't, I don't like moving around. I, I don't. I hate. Like, I look at people playing tennis, and I'm like, that's a lot of work. <laughs> you know, I just don't. I don't like movement. I just want to be big. I like my flesh. I like the way it feels. Soft. So if you know if you're a thousand pounds, you might not be able to get out of the bed. Right. Right. That's and that's okay. Yeah, that's something um, that really would be okay. Um, I don't like to move, I'm telling you. It's just like I like to just relax and watch TV. And we all this like thought, to do this... that, but we don't want to be a thousand pounds. <laughs> I know, pounds. but I just don't like movement. I don't like to move. To um, move? Okay, yeah. I've heard before, I don't like to exercise, because I don't like to exercise. <laughs> <laughs> but I do it, but I don't like doing it. Right. But I have never in my life heard a woman say, or a person say, yeah. I don't like to move. Yeah. I just, I don't like, I don't like mobility. I just don't like it. Well, Donna wanted us to see what an average day like was for her. Check it out. Donna starts her day like most of us. All right, I'm going to make some breakfast now. But because of her weight, she has to modify everyday chores. So this is how I cook meals. So these tongs are like my, my arm because it's hard for me to reach because my belly. So I use these tongs. The quantity of food she consumes is jaw dropping. So today I'm gonna have a whole package of bacon. Um, I'm gonna scramble all these eggs and have about five to seven pieces of toast. I eat a lot of bread because there's not a lot of cholesterol in bread. I'm trying to cut corners here or there. I can't sit on this because the chair is too flimsy and it would break. <laughs> Her breakfast meal alone accounts for over 2,500 calories. And I, I prefer to eat like this because it's, I can eat quicker. For Donna, food is like a drug. Eating for me is euphoric. I mean, it makes the world go wrong, but people go, oh, yeah, I should stop. I shouldn't eat that much. Not me. As she eats, her mood is drastically altered. Happy. I feel good. I feel happy. <laughs> it loves me, and I love it. She then attempts to head outside to get her mail. Okay, now I have to look a little presentable. I'm going out in public. <laughs> the distance to the mailbox is only 40 feet. I can't really walk more than 40 feet. Honestly, I don't like to move around. If I can just sit all day, I'd just be happy. I did that for like a year. Eventually, her weight exhausts her, and she can't make it inside without sitting down. That was a big walk for me. Before starting her workday, Donna takes a shower. Because it's too difficult for Donna to bathe herself, she has to have someone do it for her.
She then begins her work day. I spend two to three hours online, usually. Donna gets paid to take requests from people on the internet, telling her what to do. This guy wants me to put on a dog collar, and this other guy wants me to funnel three gallons of chocolate milk. Well, here's the one that wants me to wear lingerie, and here this is the one that wants me to eat food off of myself. And one by one, she videotapes her fans' requests. She wears a dog collar, funnels the chocolate milk, and finally... So here I am. This is maybe what I would call a lingerie set. Since some of the side effects of her weight are undeniable... I had the bright idea. Somebody told me if I get on two scales... I can weigh myself. I got on and I caved in. I have tears all over the place, and after I stand for a minute, I just have to sit down. And this right here is actually from me getting up. I put my hand through the wall. But they don't seem to affect her. All these people that are sending me these messages, they love me being fat, and I love being fat, so. Donna, I have never seen something like that in my entire life. <laughs> I have been doing this show. This is now our fourth season. Okay. And I have seen so much, but I haven't seen somebody, somebody like you. Do you want to gain a thousand pounds because you'll make more money on the internet? Like to be the thousand pound woman? Is this like something that is just about money? I just, I love being fat. I just, I love my fatness. I love the way I look. I was like really proud of myself when I was, saw myself on the, there. And I know everybody's probably like, oh my God, oh my God. But I just love my, I love the way I look. I love my fat. And so do hundreds and thousands of people. Yeah, there's a difference between loving the way you look and being unhealthy. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Okay. Like, sure. I actually love the fact that you love the way you look. I wish right. more women would be big and love the way that they looked. Right. My issue is the health. You can't even walk to your mailbox. Yeah. That doesn't scare you? That's awesome. That's awesome? That's awesome. I, I, don't, I don't like to walk. It's, like, so overrated. You guys wouldn't know unless you actually were able to experience it. You, Walking You really is get more out of life if you just don't move. Are you in a relationship? Yes, I sure am. Yes. I'm awesome one. Tell us about your relationship. Okay. Um, I am with a guy that is totally awesome. He's called an FA, a fat oh. admirer. Um, and I'm called an SSBBW, a super sized, be big, beautiful woman. Once you get past 450 ish, uh, 400, 450, you become an SSBBW as opposed to a BBW. Okay, those so, sounds like R and B groups. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, hey, maybe. this man that she speaks of, this FA, is actually here. It's her fiance, Philip. We're gonna meet him when we come back. We'll be right back. Up next, Donna wants to be even heavier, and Donna's fiance wants her to be heavier too. The way they sit, they have to sit with their legs open, and their belly overflows into their thighs, and takes up all that space. And later, I'm gonna get cancer. That's probably how I'm gonna die. I can't even talk because I can't believe somebody would say I'm gonna die of cancer. Sick. We all gotta go sometime. I do not want you to say that to people that it's are watching my show reality. at all. <laughs>
listening to me today, I've been talking with Donna, and Donna weighs approximately 600 pounds, but she wants to be even heavier. In fact, she says she'd be happy to weigh 1,000 pounds. Um, Donna's fiance, Philip, he wants her to be heavier, too. Uh, so uh, let's, let's meet Philip. Come on out here, Philip. Hi, how Hi, are you? Philip. So, Philip, you're this professional man. You're the son of a diplomat, I hear. <laughs> yes. I didn't know that. I just learned that at the commercial break. Um, <laughs> and you are engaged to a woman that wants to be a thousand pounds. Yes, indeed. How do you feel about her wanting to be that that weight? Um, I'm perfectly comfortable with it. Uh, I love her size, her fatness, uh, the way her body moves. Uh, I think she's just my ideal woman. She's your she, ideal woman. Yes. Woman, have you ever been with a small woman? Yes, I have. Tell me about that. Um. <laughs> Tyra, you, you got no you? chance with him. <laughs> That's why you're calling just, me small I'm girl. I got booty. Uh, okay, but um, Philip, uh, yes. uh, tell me you were married. Before. Yes, yes. Uh, I was married to a smaller woman. And being with what a small woman. What size was she? Um, about a size 14. Okay. Very average. Um, uh, that's not interesting to me. Uh, it's not enough to play with, not enough to work with. Yeah. Uh, so, Donna, I hear that you want to be the fattest woman in the world. Yeah, that, that is something that, um, I mean, that's a, a lofty goal to aspire to. <laughs> lofty. But anyway, no, I, I really, I, I would love that, but, you know, I'm just going to take it in increments, you know. We're just trying yeah. to go for a thousand pounds now. So you 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 like tape her in videos and stuff, right? Yes, uh, for her website, I'm the uh, photographer and the video videographer for her, uh, which is very comfortable. And yeah. uh, what I try to do is take pictures that would appeal to fellow FAs, to fellow fat admirers. Yes. So I get the right angles, the right curves, the right shapes. Uh, yeah. You know all the right. You know what you're doing. Okay, yeah. tell me what you love about about women that are severely obese. I understand it was like skin texture and things uh, like that. Yes. Are the they softer? Absolutely. The cellulite. The skin? Bumps. Yeah, absolutely. He loves cellulite, yeah. and the more yeah. he's like, oh, is that another cellulite? <laughs>